am uh, Dave Good here at Ski Ranch, uh, Covington, Louisiana, with uh, Chet Raley. Hello. And Chad Scott. Hello. Uh, quite an honor to be here with both of you guys. Chet, world-renowned uh, coach and skier, uh, world champion last year. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yep. And uh, Chad Scott, world-class driver and skier. I just watched you go run three at 41, and it's pretty impressive. Thank you. Both of you guys are on a new ski, the, the Nano. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about it? And then Chet, we're going to say we got a little your little invention that's, sure. that's made both of you your Nanos work better. Since you're rocking, tell them about the ski. Well, first of all, the Nano is. Uh, I was on the mid ride last year, and this Nano is just a 30% improved version of the mid ride. It's quicker, accelerates better, and for me, turns and picks up the uh, speed better out of the buoy and uh, rebounds quicker on the back side of the buoy, which allows me to keep speed. And so far, it's been good. I mean, I, I love it. In fact, I just asked Dave to build me another one, mm -hmm. just like it, for the closet. So, should something happen. Well, as good as you just skied, you better get it like three or four of them and keep yeah. them for posterity. Uh -huh. I need one, so <laughs> get on that, Dave. <laughs> well, good. Chet, you're talking about the performance, and that's one reason why you've switched. Chet, what are you feeling? What what you, you you like the performance, but you're feeling some stuff. Right, the the nano is an interesting animal. It's um it's quicker than anything I've been on uh, maybe ever, uh, definitely ever. And it's a little higher on the water, but it it is a it's a machine. It's like a it's like a racehorse. It's it's a Formula One race car. It's it's a it's a sensitive machine, but it's a machine. It moves. So yeah, it's it's quite a weapon. Great. The twist. Are you feeling a difference onside, offside? What? I certainly do. The uh, twist in this version, as opposed to last year's version, just really allows the ski to go out and come back on my offside uh, naturally, kind of like you do on your onside. To me, this ski does it naturally for me on my 135 side, which is a turn I've struggled with in the past. Okay. Chet, you feeling onside, offside? Yeah, I actually, I actually think compared to my mid. Uh, last year's mid, it's better on the onside, and I'd, I'd say exactly the opposite for me. Um, I love the twist in the tail. If you said what's your favorite part of the twist, it would be on that side because the, the good side for me feels like it's bulletproof. It just feels like I move in and move out with no loss of speed, complete control and confidence. So for me, the twist in the tail has been my favorite part of it. Oh, terrific. Great. Let's talk a little bit about the Rayleigh ventral system. Okay. Chet, this is your creation. Let's take a peek at it here. Chad, you're using it too. Uh, what, Chet, tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, you know, a ventral is not a brand new concept as we've talked before. You know, a, a shark has a dorsal and two ventral fins, and I'm sure they're not there for no reason. And since the airline industry, especially the, the, the fighter jets part of the industry, has really taken to this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it provides a lot of stability, which we've discussed. And Chad just proved that he had a kind of a hot one ball at 39 at 35.2, and he came ripping out of it as if it never occurred. And I've seen him have that turn before, but not with that result. So definitely the ventral helps stick the ski in the water and hold when you when you really need it. Um, I think that the the ventral also creates a, a nice environment for the for the addition of his of his wing. I don't think it's an addition. I don't think it has to be subtracted from or added to. I think it helps out. So I think what Chad's done here especially is he's gotten a little bit of the drag or the speed, water speed he likes through his wing and then he adds to his stability and his tracking through it with his ventral. So everybody's going to be a little bit of an individual and what I just saw Chad do on this ski, I just don't think it could perform much better. I agree. Chad, what's your feeling? Well, my feeling, I went down in December uh, to West Palm and ski with Chet and I had seen his ski earlier in the year and we had discussed this and I was on the 9900 mid-ride at the time and Chet mounted up and I skied I think about three passes on us that wow I mean unbelievable what it does is for me is it gives me a trust factor that I never had in my offside turn like he said I can come in with speed and normally I would have been afraid to blow the tail or not be able to handle the speed, go down course before I make the turn. With this, it's on a rail. It goes out, you can carry speed, and you're still gonna go the other side. So it just, it's a trust thing for me now. I know I've been in a couple tournaments this year carrying way more speed than I would normally be comfortable with and, and just knew that I could get out of it. So 
I can't think of a better setup. And, you know, I thought it was great on the mid-ride uh, in December when I put it on this ski. I mean, for me, this package just works. Chet, about a month ago, I came down here. We skied with Chris Parrish and Regina. Uh, we had Regina on the ventral with the Nano. I think then she went and ran five at 39 and one at 41. That's correct. She made a comment that really stuck with me. She said, it, it, it just saves you. Yeah, no doubt. I think I think everybody everybody who tries one. I don't think everybody will fall in love with it or anything else. But I do think that the single biggest limitation to every race car driver, every snow ski racer, and every water skier at some point hasn't been speed, but excess speed. At some point, we battle the demon, and when it gets real hot and real hairy, you know, it's it's fun to say, uh, you know, we're skiing good when everything's perfect and right. But when it's a little hairy and it's on the edge, which is the uh, which is the the, the thing we're pushing most days. At some point, it's a weird sport. We go to failure every single day to some degree. And when you're pushing the envelope, to have an additional bolt-on set of help or confidence, confidence. That it's worth something. It's worth something, however you slice that. Well, it's changed. I mean, I've called Chet on numerous occasions and, and just told him that this has changed my skiing completely. And, and a lot of thanks to Chet for for taking the time and putting me on this thing in December and uh, I'll never ski without it. So <laughs> <laughs> it's here and it's not going anywhere. Well guys, quite an honor being here with you. Congratulations. Good luck at this tournament coming out. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave.